everybody loves talking about how terrible Britain's railways are, and they're not wrong. It's not just the recent strikes that have been disrupting passengers, but for many years passengers have faced a terrible level of service, and that's only got worse since the COVID pandemic broke out. What we need is a system that is run for the benefit of people, but what kind of system would that be? How would it be different to the one we have already? Clearly, uh, fares would need to go down significantly, and clearly services would have to be provided for what, for what people actually need, uh, rather than for what's necessarily profitable. In my book, Derailed, How to Fix Britain's Broken Railways, I answer some of the basic questions that passengers have about the railway system, and give answers that they won't necessarily find uh, from reading newspapers or looking at social media. The book contains um, a political and economic history of the railway since privatisation, uh, but it goes beyond just criticising privatisation uh, and starts to look at what passengers themselves can do uh, to create a much better railway system. Passengers actually have a fair amount of power and a fair amount of choice over what happens in the railways, but you wouldn't get that impression uh, from listening to the government or watching the media. So in this book, it's not just a, a criticism of the state of the railways, but it's an attempt to explore what kind of railway system we need and how, as ordinary people and as passengers, we might bring that into a state of being. It seems a long way from the situation we're in now, but things can change quickly and I'm hoping that this book can be a catalyst for that change happening.